Why is there water in here? Dishwasher hasn't been used in days. And the dishwasher drains perfectly after it completes a cycle. There's a couple reasons why water may be going into your dishwasher when it's not in use. Let's jump right in. One reason your dishwasher may be filling up with water when it's not in use could be due to a faulty water inlet valve, also known as a solenoid valve. They cost around $20 to $30 off of Amazon, and I'm gonna show you how to replace one in this video. Reason two, your dishwasher may be filling up with water when not in use is a little bit easier of a fix. If you have the dishwasher drain hose hooked up to the garbage disposal, you can actually get wastewater that goes back through the dishwasher drain hose into the dishwasher, which will fill it up with water. While most dishwasher drain hoses have check valves that prevent the backflow of water into the dishwasher, they fail quite often. This is an easy fix. All you have to do is make a high loop into the drain hose. In order to do that, I'm gonna remove this dishwasher drain hose from the garbage disposal and just make a high loop out of it. Gonna do a little rerouting here. So I moved the drain hose over here to the air admittance near the air admittance valve and just I'm just looping it up above the garbage disposal. So water, when this even if this gets clogged up, it doesn't flow back into the dishwasher. Tighten this back up. This should be done either way, whether it's the water inlet valve or not. And anytime somebody installs a dishwasher, there should be a high loop, whether or not there's one on the side of the dishwasher. Now to ensure that you need to replace your water inlet valve, the troubleshooting for this is pretty easy. Turn off your water inlet to the dishwasher. Continue to use the sink as you normally do, whether you pre-wash your dishes or not. And just see if the dishwasher still fills up with water with that valve shut. If it doesn't, then there's a pretty good chance that your water inlet valve is faulty. So let's go ahead and replace this. We've already got the water shut off to the dishwasher. Next, I need to remove this front cover from this dishwasher. This one is held in by four screws. Cobwebs under here. Now we can access our water inlet valve. Here's our dishwasher water inlet valve. We also wanna make sure that the power is off before we go sticking our hands on wires. I've already done that, so I'm gonna disconnect this wire from the water inlet valve. This one is held in by two screws right here. Get this second screw out and this solenoid water inlet valve should just drop once this screw is removed. Now we can remove our supply water hose from the solenoid valve. One tip, you may want to start your dishwasher or try and start the dishwasher with the power still on, especially if you have an old house as sometimes shutoff valves don't go off all the way. Maybe in for a surprise if that is the case. Gonna give that a little turn. We got a rag right here because there will be some residual water that spills out. Look at that valve. That is clogged up. Next, I'm gonna remove this hose clamp from the dishwasher drain hose. And just pull it out and got some residual water there. Grab our new valve that I got off Amazon. It is identical. Slide that drain hose over. I'm gonna reuse this old clamp cause these are pretty reliable for this application. Tighten the supply water hose onto the water inlet valve. You feel like it's not going on. You don't want to cross thread it and force it. See how that O-ring is not sitting flush. Could have messed something up there. 
connect the supply water line to the water inlet valve. No need for Teflon tape. There is a rubber washer in there. Get that hand tight. And then I'm gonna do about a quarter of a turn with a pair of pliers. Maybe a little more than a quarter. About a half turn. No need to go any more than that. Line up the holes and the screw. Hook up your electrical connections to the water inlet valve. Make sure it snaps into place. Before we put on our front cover for the dishwasher, we want to turn the water back on, reapply power, and check for leaks. Water's back on. Power's back on. Gonna fill the dishwasher up all the way, check the water inlet valve, then I'm gonna force it to drain to make sure that our drain hose is hooked up correctly. Look for any drips around the water inlet connection. We're now in drain mode. I don't see any drips. We can now reinstall the cover. But first, I'm gonna clean all this up. So this is a hot point dishwasher. I ordered my new water inlet valve off amazon.com. If you need a water inlet valve for your dishwasher, most of the times you can find your model number right here on the side. You wanna make sure that the part you're ordering will work with the model of your dishwasher. Amazon has gotten a lot better at this in the past year or so. There are also websites like AppliancePartsPro.com that will make sure that you're ordering the right part for your model. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Dave. This fix is done.